Welcome everybody back to another Boldcast Reaction. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. And this is Dungeon Meshy, aka Delicious in Dungeon. <laughs> Let's see what happens <laughs> in this show. But a couple people said for us to check it out. Don't know if we'll stick with it exactly. You know, we might just watch this episode and never watch it again. Or we might watch a couple weeks or whatever. We'll try to work it in. We'll see how much we like. If we really like it, then we'll stick with it. But if not, then you won't see it anymore. So let's check it out. Seems like a cozy show about food mm -hmm. and dungeons and like fantasy style. And it's... I forget what studio it is. It was... It was oh, it was, I, th I think it's Studio Trigger even. So it's, it's bound to have some good animation. So we'll check it out. Leave a like and subscribe. Let's check out Dungeon Meshi. Honestly, if they if they just just cook like the entire time, like just casually, if it's like you know like mm. Zelda, like when you when you cook, you just like have that like little song going. I like that mushroom. Mhm. Mm me too. A mad magician. Thought it was gonna be like he came up and was like, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, some lore there to start mm -hmm. it off, set the tone. OP time? Nope. Dragon. Once again, set the tone with, with a dragon. Mm -hmm. This is clearly a fantasy series. There is a fire-breathing dragon and a party of adventurers trying to kill it. I bet they're gonna eat this dragon. What if they just cook this dragon a nice meal? Yeah, they can't beat the dragon. They're in a struggle for like a day and they're just like, how about we just cook for you instead and you give us some of your treasure? <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's all about buffing the party through uh, food. Hmm. No, you just weren't paying attention at all. Oh my god. Jesus. They lost. Or did she cast a spell on him to leave? Teleported him out? Or is this just his dream? Oh no, he... he... Oh no, this is, that's just, he was just thinking about that, I think. Unless it just happened? No. Yeah, I think it just, I, I, yeah, I think it's a, he, he was thinking about it. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, that did oh, actually yeah, happen. it just happened. Oh. Is she a druid? A cleric? Damn. I bet she was delicious for the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> so they just ditched you? <laughs> They're like, ah, oh, you guys are weak now. That's why they need a chef. They need Sanji to join their crew. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's his little sister. Mm. <laughs> They're already talking about reviving them from death. So this guy just lost his sister? This isn't the energy of someone who just lost their uh, sibling. I didn't think, oh, well, maybe that was his sister. Well, that's what he said. Oh, my little I sister's I being digested it. right now, oh. I think he said. Um. の話じゃない。仮には<笑> <laughs> Are they gonna eat the monsters? Oh no. 
Just whatever the monsters eat, they can probably eat. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't mean that any of that is edible. It is to if you, you can cook it right. They're just like, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this is gonna be a monster a monster cooking chef lurking around in the background like an exact copy of their party almost <laughs> <laughs> Did you just eat, take a bite of the thing? It's a mushroom. It looks poisonous. It does look poisonous. Yeah. Oh. oh. Okay. Where's you get this? F yeah, where'd you get this? F where'd you friggin find book? that? This manual on like what's good to eat. I like that there's like, like, like a little, like a little town in the dungeon almost. That's cool. This is a flashback. Oh. Is he hiding his weapon? Hmm. Oh, it's not a flashback. He's in there right now. Oh, he is? Oh, okay. Yeah. Never mind. I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, you seem to have put a lot of thought into this. <laughs> I love we start in the middle of the of their like adventures together, and then it's they're acting like did we not know this guy at all? <laughs> just like, just like, like <laughs> my life has been a complete lie. Yeah, it's like we've known you for a few months to slash years now, and you've never once mentioned this love you have for monsters. <laughs> it's bleeding. Yeah, it has grain. It's like a mushroom. Mmm. Mm. That's really good to know. Have the you ever little, seen like, it again? Like cooking mama, like X's and like yeah. a little circle. Oh. Wait, really? You're you're such an expert, sir. You should at least take out the probisc. You could just cut that the gland off. Maybe you didn't boil it long enough. Hot pot. Look at this guy. I like this guy. Give him some tips. Mm. Yeah, there you go. You prepare it like a lobster kind of thing. You slice it up? Mmm. Mm. With the shell, too? I guess so. Take out the organs, that's mm. smart. There you go. Well, the shells might make, a, like, help with the broth. I figured the shells would be, like, mm. sour or, like, uh, bitter. Mm. <laughs> Jesus! This guy is also an guy. expert in- he just shows up and just like, oh, awesome. I think it's missing some spice, maybe? Yeah. Vegetables? Yeah. Some kind of root, yeah. Yeah, vegetables, spice, something like that. Settle down. Jesus, all right, if you want to be picky, go go outside then. Mm. That's with roots. All right. Oh my God, really? We're already doing the slime thing? We're already doing the slime thing. First oh, death can... was slime. I wonder if they'll eat the slime. He's like, oh, perfect. This is exactly what we need. Oh, he just pierced it and it just kind of like, maybe has service tension. Hmm. Hmm. Whoa. Oh, it's like a big a cell. That makes a lot of sense. I never thought of a slime like that. It's even got a mitochondria. You see that? Yeah. 
<laughs> it's like jello? Oh. Oh, like a, you can get slime hide? Oh. Or it's like uh it's like fruit leather but yeah, but slime. But slime. This guy I like, love this holy guy. shit, like uh, we found you at the right time, my god. I wonder if he just waits around here waiting to show people his technique. Hmm. Oh, in this dungeon. Oh yeah, yeah, it's probably different per dungeon. He literally does just, he's been waiting for, to, to dump this knowledge on someone. This is way more interesting than I thought it would be. I mean, I am so intrigued right now. <gasps> Look at that. That looks great. I don't know what you're- I don't know why is. anyone is not- uh, How old is she? Has she never like eaten anything exotic? She's an elf. Is she actually like 20? Like is she literally just like what, what she would look like in human years? <laughs> Whoa. Mmm, that looks good. All right, Kaven, it looks delicious, madam. You know it looks good. How are people not capitalizing on this? How is no, you know? how is a crowd not like gathered around here? She's so hungry. Mm. Oh, it's like noodles. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mmm. <laughs> it like takes, yeah, it's, it's exactly like noodles. It like takes on whatever you uh, soak it in. Mmm. Mm. I can't believe we've just been walking past all of this food and starving. Fuck dungeoneering. We need to like capitalize. We need to start a, a restaurant we'll start here. Start a franchise for God's sake. We have one on each side of town. Get people coming and going. Mm. What was the name? It's something. It means research. I, I saw that part. I guess that's smart too. I always think about that digestion with with big monsters like that, you know? Mm. Yeah, Lucky. I, I think about that sometimes. But it depends on the kind of dragon. Because if you're dealing with a black dragon, then they have acid. Of course he's coming with us. I just, I just want to watch this guy cook all day. We will, we will. <laughs> he wants to cook the red dragon. I wonder, this I bet is dragon, chance. Is, can dragon even taste good? It's probably so old. Maybe, I don't know. It would either taste really good or just like nothing. Like just, cause they're very muscly. <laughs> I don't imagine dragons have a lot of fat, they're lizards. Yeah. Whoa. Didn't they already go through all this? Hmm. All right. It's like Atlantis, but not water and a dungeon. <laughs> a curse. There's not even a gap in the bridge. Stop early Idiot. for today, or we're just skipping right to the next meal. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, to me, that's fine. <laughs> and she loved the last thing that she was complaining about the whole time. Get out of here if you don't want these delicious meals. <laughs> Mm. 
Carnivorous plants. <laughs> oh, so cute. Mm. He's going to get eaten. Oh. Oh, it doesn't even eat them. It doesn't even oh. like dissolve them. It just composts them next that to their roots. So That's cool. interesting. I love the, uh, like, I thought that this was going to be like, oh, here's a bunch of, like, you know, it's just going to be fantasy, but with a t with a slight twist. Mm -hmm. But I like they're getting into all the ecology of every single mm -hmm. thing that they come across and, like, yeah the whole ecosystem. That's very interesting to me. Because it's always a question when you're, when you're in, like, a dungeon in, like, a fantasy game or whatever. It's like, you know, how does, how does this all work? Like, what are these mm -hmm. things doing down here? Like, you know, that's, it's kind of always a, a mystery. She's... You destroy them all. Okay. See, they oh I they're doing the thing, but then they don't follow through. They did the slime, but it didn't dissolve her clothes or like grab yeah. her a weird way. Now they're doing the vines, and it's actually killing her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can get down with this as long like they're they're clearly showing like Look, they even like blurred out her cleavage. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <they're> <laughs> Um, so there are there parasitic little egg bugs? I feel like it would feel really good. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a fucking psycho, man. <laughs> Look at all of this stuff. Oh, did they pack in those veggies or do they? No, they're they just, picking they them. They just picked them. Yeah. See, they got bell peppers, they're fine. Oh. Mm. It's got so pits. creative, like, mm. like genuinely very it's creative. It's like a bell pepper, but then they peel it and it's got like these huge pits in it. Scorpion broth, chunks of the tree fruit. Making like a pie. They're making a pie. Oh, he's bringing back. <laughs> She's like, I don't want to grow that on the surface, actually. Ooh. Oh, was it a pizza? No, I, it, it's it's fruit. It's like a, it's like a pie. Fruit, fruit tart. tart. What? <laughs> oh my god. Is it sweet? Salt flavor. That's what I was thinking. It looks more like a quiche. Huh. But obviously, it's not egg. So it's so crazy because like I don't even. I I'm just. It's it's so intriguing as I'm trying to like imagine the what the gelatin texture. gelatin from the plants. Oh, if they had. I mean, it looks fine to me, man. She loves it. <laughs> we need to protect this dwarf man at all costs. We need to protect I, him at God. all costs. <laughs> <laughs> now just throw it off the side. What? There's a chance it won't work. Why? Is, is there a is there a component that Maybe gets used like with that? Maybe it's like if you're dead for two. <laughs> Keep it from getting eaten so that people can take it up. Yikes. No doubt. Dungeon Mishi. 
It's the OP. So what did you think of the first episode of Dungeon Meshi? I honestly, genuinely love this show. Same. <laughs> I, I was not expecting was to. I was not expecting to love this show. I was ex like, I was open to it, but I was like, eh, I feel like it would be the kind of thing that like, you like you know it's like kind of cool but like there's probably going to be a lot of fan service or a lot of like dumb things mm -hmm. um in there just it just the very there's just so many like random like isekai style shows that come out and i was like is this just like the new one of those but it's also like food wars at the same time where there's yeah. just cooking and like like what can what could be that interesting about like i I always thought like, oh, this like could be this could be kind of like nice to watch, but I didn't expect to be like glued invested, to the screen, yeah. intrigued, invested in every word that is coming out of the characters' mouths. Um, it's like to like learn about the ecology. It's like I thought we were just gonna be cook like we were gonna get a chef that's gonna come in like cook in the dungeons, and we did. But it's so much more interesting because we have like this book and like this guy that knows everything, and then we have the chef guy who also knows everything, and it's like, oh, these plants work in these ways, and you know, oh, you like cut this thing like this, and you do this, and it's it's so cool because clearly there was a lot of thought yeah. put into it. It's like, and that's what I want if you're doing a cooking show that is going to be cooking with like weird ingredients that are like semi like things that we have in real life, mm -hmm. but also not. It's like. What a, like, it takes a lot of effort, I think, to be like, okay, I'm gonna, like, imagine this creature or this plant and make it similar to something that we have in real life, but also make it different. And then also explain how it exists in the world and, like, what parts of it are used for what. And, like, it's just so cool, like, with the plants, how it's like, oh yeah, these carnivorous plants, they don't just, like, eat something and digest it. They kill something, strangle it to death, and then as it decomposes, it absorbs the nutrients. It's like yeah, in the roots. That, that makes is so much so yeah. cool. And then there's all, but then two seconds later, there's also actual carnivorous plants. So it's like it makes sense that there's not every carnivorous plant is exactly the same. And then there's different. parasitic plants that like like kind of like uh, I guess a tarantula or I don't know like a like a oh like a tarantula hawk or mm -hmm. or like some sort of a bug. Lay their lay their eggs or their seeds in this case in the skin, and then because it's a carnivorous plant, it's it like sort of starts sprouting from the mm. body, um, and 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 feeds off of like a parasite, the the host, and it, that that makes a lot of sense for like a giant fantasy plant to work that way. That is like, it it makes so much sense that it's kind of crazy. There's not a plant like that in real life, and in fact, there probably is, mm -hmm. but like um, at least for like a larger mm -hmm. animal, I'm saying. And then the fact that there are these like actual like edible fruits and vegetables that are attached to these things that they grow at the same time to attract p things that are going to eat them. Yeah. It's like, I just, I was not expecting this much thought to be put in. I agree. To, 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 and not just like one or two ingredients. It's like most of Every them. Every ingredient. And, and the I'm, world. And, and I like, love it. And I, and I love this whole thing of like, we started off like, oh, there's like this creepy like dead king dude that comes out and is like, yeah, my castle is like under here and on the bottom there's like this like evil wizard guy that like took it over and then he disappears and then it's like this castle and I love we just see the map and it's just like a castle but with all this like weird stuff in it and I like that like they didn't try to like over explain the logic of that. Or anything, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It's, have a little it's, bit it's of just backstory, like, set the, the stage. Yeah, there's the backstory. There's like the map that we see that there's all these different levels, but it's not just like going on and on and on about the nature of this place. It's going on and on and on about all these cool ingredients and yes. things that are alive in there, and that's so much like that. Like that. Like to me, that feels like like such good world building of like investing time and effort into. Like the simple and small things that make it feel big, rather than like, you know, trying to make it as expansive as possible. I agree. Yeah. And even something as small as like, okay, they go into the dungeon, and then like on the first level of the dungeon, people are just like living there or like camping out there, or, you know what I mean? Like to me, that's so cool. It makes sense. It's like, oh, people are coming in here all the time. Of course. There's like there a. Would... There's, it's like an archaeologist camp. Almost. Yeah. Like they're excavating this this dungeon and it's dangerous. So then and there's money in it. So people mm -hmm. set up this little community here for people who are passing through to go and like explore the dungeon and get some get some gold or get some artifacts or whatever. You know, it makes sense. Again, it's like 
it, it, it's it's what it's stuff like this is I think is what a lot of fantasy is missing in that and mm -hmm. stuff like this what it's succeeding at is what I'm always so frustrated with your average isekai where like you know there there is they they are gamifying the fantasy a bit uh, but it's for a purpose because like you know they're gamifying it so that all the, all the ecology and works this way and it works in a familiar way and you don't mm -hmm. need to spend all the time on it similar to free rent it's like using the conventions and the tropes of fan, of modern fantasy to um, you know skip the initial mm -hmm. exposition stage of like this is an elf this is a this this is a, these are these kingdoms it's like you can assume there's kingdoms you can assume that whatever it's like there's already that baseline uh, but what <clears throat> what this is doing is is what I always say in whether it's shonen or or just fantasy in general it's what I love is when there's not not that it has to be realistic but like something relatable hmm. it's like relatability outside of just like oh i need to prove myself or like oh i'm a young guy who like doesn't know his place in the world and is kind of useless but wants to find a girlfriend and wants to like you know like trying to th that power fantasy angle um you know that's a lot of a lot of shown in a lot of fantasy try to be relatable in that way and all the other stuff is just kind of set dressing for you know a, the action to play out, out or whatever but like the small details and like in Jujutsu, for, in Jujutsu, for example, the fact that mental state affects, like is the power system. Mm -hmm. That's because like we feel anxious and depressed or whatever in real life. But like imagine if that was somehow like directly related to your power system. Doing something like that here where it's like, you know, it it, it it's it makes you want to cook and, and like we obviously you cook in real life and you've pro everyone's probably cooked a good meal one time in their life mm -hmm. and they're just like I'm really proud of that or like you know looked up a recipe and done that I'm really proud of that so like yeah and yeah and 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 making it uh, adding the depth to like the ecology just adds so much it, like uh, another thing that I like so I like whenever there's sort of um, elements like that in fantasy where it's relatable and thought out mm -hmm. not exhaustive but like what what the the balance is also like with I I'm also I'm also a guy who doesn't like wor world building normally because I to me it's just like fake history and that's not fun. What's fun is when like the world building is material and and affects the world and it, like actually like stu them knowing all the stuff about these animals creates a uh, sort of um, action not like fighting but like action as in them cooking like them cooking mm -hmm. and, and learning about all these ingredients that's the action that's like the draw of the show that's like the uh, that's the thing that you come to the show for and um just it, it, like all all of the details actually enhance that you know and it's not just details about you know if you think about world building as it's normally thought of it's like oh this you know again like this far off kingdom and this and that and oh, all, all these other places that we'll never visit or whatever the fact that all of this is tied in directly to what's happening it's really you know, and the small details end up mattering a lot, and like even it just it just it all and you, your imagination just gets going, and you feel really immersed, and it's just nothing crazy, super crazy is happening, but it's it's awesome, and you know, I, mm -hmm. I I just like it. My only fear with all of this is like it, there's there's other stories like this that and, and other anime specifically. This is kind of like I don't know what the genre is called, but like um, it's it's like. Here's one aspect of real life, but let's like explore it and like inspire. It's all about like inspiring the audience to do something. I like another show that I never watched, but that I got this kind of vibe from was uh, uh, Dumbedu Nankiru Moki. No, how uh, how heavy are the dumbbells you lift? Um, and that's it's a similar thing where like eventually. I, I, I don't know this about this show, but this uh, I guess I shouldn't even brought it up because I'm, I'm not acting like I've seen it before, but I haven't. <laughs> but the point is, like, I'm with this show, I'm worried that, like, how how many things can you do? Like, uh, even if, like, one season, even that might be too much detail. With the amount of detail that we're seeing in this first episode with all of the different dishes they're preparing, they prepared two, like, full dishes with multiple different aspects. I'm not saying that it's, like, not, you, you know... Like you said, it takes a lot of effort. Like you said that. It, it takes a lot of effort, and clearly there's a lot of effort and a lot of thought put into each aspect of this. Mm -hmm. And that must be exhausting for a manga and for, like, a, an ongoing story where that's the thing. It's like you need to constantly be researching real-life things put and then using your, using your creative mind to make... Uh, mm -hmm. Like a like a like a dish like multiple ingredients multiple of those like different ecosystems, you know, I, and and they they could go into different biomes that will expand it a lot. 
and you know, there's, there's, but it's not like you couldn't do it. It's just that it, it's a lot of work to make it feel like it felt in this episode every time. Mm -hmm. That's my only fear with it. I don't expect this, like, I, I, maybe it'll get a season two. What if it just blows up? I, you know, I, I hope that it's good, like, uh, as it goes on. Obviously, I want it to, want everything to succeed if it's good. But um, it's just the the level of detail and the level of care that was put into every de every detail mm -hmm. in this it's it's uh it's very daunting for sure yeah like if I was writing it I would be daunted by like my future with writing a story like this you know what I mean like, I guess put it yourself depends, in the author's like, shoes it, it, I mean like I don't I don't know anything about them but like maybe they have an interest in cooking in real life so it comes more naturally because it's yeah, that's true it's like oh I just watch Chopped every day of my entire life and I like cook all the time and then it's like you know, making these things, you know, if if you you already have the mindset for food, uh, could could just be like purely creative and fun and never ending because like recipes in real life are almost never ending, and we have, you know, we're limited to ingredients that exist in our edible in real life, but you can just make up anything. You can make up any fruit, and you can dry out a slime and do this and that. I do I do agree that like I I I just hope that I don't get bored of it. Mm -hmm. But I also feel like I won't because I was anticipating it to be way less interesting than it is and I was still prepared like oh like once a week like it's like to w the way that I was originally thinking of it if it was like the more boring version of we just go into a dungeon and we cook something um, and like the with money no shot. explanations and the money shot the of money just, shot like, is just oh here's like, this cool anime food and yeah. then here's some food I like I was even prepared just for that like you watch that 20 minutes a week that's like putting on a YouTube video of like yeah. an anime food compilation or um, watching like a YouTube video of someone cook something yeah. you know like it's 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 I like it because it's the kind of thing that I feel like can be repetitive and still be interesting every time. Because like I like you know things like the Food Network exist where they're just cooking every time people watch like I used to watch like hundreds of hours of Food Network mm -hmm. you know all the time and it was just like it takes a long time to get boring because it's just so interesting and like it looks so tasty and I love even the detail on this uh, fruit tart of like oh the skin like how we like boiled those things and like took the pit out and that was just for a non-stick coating on the pan yeah you don't even eat that it's like that's so cool I, I love that and I also love uh, that there's not at least in this first episode there wasn't any like fan service like was, you said yeah. is like they like set it up like there was going to be and then they just didn't like when the the slime thing and then also when she got taken out by those vines it's like oh here we go, yeah, here we go. here's the vines gonna like grab her in a sexual way or her dress is gonna fall down her boobs are gonna be like flying out of her shirt and the, um, most anime are like oh this now we okay there's all this you know exposition about all this you know nonsense whatever we got this cute girl Let's have a joke scene, like a comedy scene, break up the tension and break up the whole show. Have mm -hmm. this joke, sexy scene where this, you know, character gets sexually molested by the fruit, by the fruit and fauna of this vil of this uh, forest. And it's like a comedy thing. So it's like a joke is, uh, is the idea. It's a comedy moment. Mm -hmm. And it's supposed to be sexual, but it's a comedy moment. Like if you're writing it out in a script. But what's funnier is making you making everybody think because it's cl it's clearly using the conventions like I said of the setup of just mm -hmm. the whole of it being in a fantasy world and then going to dungeons and stuff. Yeah, it's like they're they. What's funnier as a joke, like if you're going to have a comedy moment, have the character have the, have it seem like the show is going in that direction multiple times, and it for for it to just blue balls whoever wants that to happen. We're not those type of people, but like. Or uh, just you usually like hate stuff. Like or it's that, just so like oh my god, funny. and then it's way funnier as well. But then the joke is like a dead body like yeah. flies out underneath yeah. her, and, she's and like, like she's actually like, in she's danger. Like, ah! And there and it's like oh haha, ha. okay they didn't do it. That's funny. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit, there's a dead person. <laughs> it's so like to me like that just made it way funnier. Yeah. Um, and like yeah, it 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 was all so good, and I I just I love it because it's. You know, it's not taking itself too seriously. They, like, set the stakes very well of, like, oh, this girl is dying, but it's okay. The digestion is slow. We'll get there when we get there. She's going to be fine. We can revive her. Yeah. Um, and we're just going to, like, cook some good stuff. And they, like, show all these different things. Like, there's, like, a water place and, like, cave places and, like, this tree place. It was, like, it just gives you a lot to think about. It's, like, okay, we're just, like, on this journey. We're cooking food. 
And we um, now we have an endpoint of eating the dragon with the yes. with the dwarf man. So not not only are we saving the girl, we're also fulfilling this guy's dream of cooking the dragon. Yeah, again, they literally set up like the most basic like they they set up the curse, which is a little bit you know like its own thing, like the whole oh my land was cursed mm -hmm. and now my kingdom's buried and uh, the fucking magician man. And so they're setting up like a long term thing there that's very personal to the story. But they set up Maiden gets captured. Maiden like the the hero's sister gets captured by a dragon in mm -hmm. a castle. So we're going to like that's the most basic possible uh, fantasy setup that you can have, and that's on purpose because. It's it's supposed to be like a cozy show about the mm -hmm. food, so it's like, okay, we're not gonna have some crazy political narrative or anything. It's all about the journey to there, mm -hmm. and uh, you know maybe she dies and it'll turn dark. But I, there's, the whole point of it is like, here's a comfortable setup that you have seen millions of fucking times since you were a two year old, mm -hmm. and um, you know that's what this. So that's the that's like the the plot. And now in that, here's the journey that we're going to be on, and, and all that stuff. And I, I, and the fact that the characters are so lackadaisical about the fact that his sister, and it's his sister, and she's yeah. dying right now. But the, sh but the, the show uses that again. He has these dead eyes. So I don't know if there's something fucked up about him. And his sister in the ED has the same dead mm. eyes. I think maybe that's just the way that they. It look. might just be the way they are. But I think that you know, if if the show is going to throw some spice in, you know. I, I feel like that could be something. It's also interesting that they've seemingly all died before. Like, she's like, oh, the first oh, time yeah. I died, this happened. So they set like, that up, too, where it's like, if she dies, as long as there's a body, we're good. Yeah. Like, you know, they set, they set up, this is fully like, and I wonder, is D&D popular in Japan? I didn't think it was, but it might just be like, these are these are like video gamey fantasy tropes, but like, this, this, this anime is feeling very D&D-esque. I don't know if that's because D&D &D is very influenced mm. by video games, modern D&D, &D, as opposed to like what the reputation it had previously before like the critical role boom and stuff but like the the way that the that fantasy that modern fantasy especially in anime is is trending is a lot more like you know a lot more like with free I know it's a small sample size but there's I'm seeing this trend away from the sword art online like final fantasy sort of um Terra online that sort of like floating stuff the giant swords the like the armor is a little bit more detailed in modern fantasy and but in anime still and stuff like that. keeping with like this like video game or like but style the gamified of thing, yeah. aspect yeah like, like there's it's not game, like it's, it's not all crystals kind of it's not all crystals and like um you know weird like a re-zero type of fantasy world like that kind of style mm -hmm. Like the, the fantasy is kind of moving more towards what I would think of as like a more like modern fantasy D and D style, like a more we modern Western fantasy, mm -hmm. not like a classical Western fantasy. But that that to me, it's it's more like uh, it's more like it feels like when when I examine like D, uh, fantasy stuff these days with anime, it I feel a lot more trending towards D and D than I do like a fantasy video game style even with like the level up systems and stuff they're mm -hmm. not like interfacing with a magic book that like looks like a sp iphone screen yeah they're you know they're at talking about spells as if they're like uh you know things that they have to perform with components or like something that might not mm -hmm. work you know stuff like that it's not like a, a, in world of warcraft where it's just like oh here bam you're revived because my, that's more like yeah. my power or whatever you know so like there, there, it's, a, it's a weird trend so, towards sore my towards more like granular style fantasy which i kind of like and i like that with this show mm -hmm. oh that rat poor rat yeah it's so cool and i love I, I love i love marcel 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 she's funny and the fact that she's just funny and not sexualized mm -hmm. I love that. I hope that trend keeps going for at least another year or two. Because we got Fern, who's not sexualized. We got Free Red, who is mostly not sexualized. There's a little bit, they sneak a little bit in there, but that's more animator thing. I don't know. There's, you know, and we're seeing more and more, like, maybe we don't need to, like, bait people sexually to get them to, talk, like, pay attention to our show. Maybe if maybe we, we just, can have just have interesting <laughs> shit, then we don't have to, like, appeal to literally the most lizard brain shit for people, you know? And I like that. I, I just like that. I like this trend mm -hmm. that like characters are just characters and they can be cute without being sexual and a story can be funny without being sexual. Um, so I, I like it. I like how I, I'm invested already and mm -hmm. I will, we will continue the show. Yeah, I, I, I was thinking like, oh, like, I'm, I'm, we'll like, see, we'll yeah, see about mean, it. But like yeah. now I'm like, 
I might be more like I I am so excited for this. <laughs> yeah, and it's uh, and we're gonna get a new episode this Thursday, I think. There's we'll Wednesday see. or Thursday. But we'll see. It'll be on the schedule. Yeah, it will be. It will be out on the day that this show actually comes out. Yeah. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, leave a like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one, Carson. I'm Lindsay. Bye bye.